Hello everybody, uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Happy Thanksgiving Day. I have uh, made some recent videos that I believe I got a little long-winded. So this video I'm going to make my best effort to keep it shorter and um, to the point. But uh, I didn't want this day to go by without uh, wishing you all a, a great Thanksgiving Day. Uh, I'd like to say a few things about it, though. Um, last night, uh, I got in a telephone conversation with my uh, nephew, uh, Ken. Uh, he and his family live uh, uh, near Seattle, Washington. And we were talking about a variety of things, but uh, he was excited that he, he wrote a list of uh, things that he was thankful for. And it was uh, quite a long list. He uh, he filled up a, a piece of paper uh, on both sides. So I'm guessing there's probably around 60 things or more on the list total. And uh, I think uh, Ken and I both know that that he he only scratched the surface if he if he was really to list everything. And, and try to make an exhaustive list. I mean, we could go on and on uh, listing the things that we are thankful for, we, we should be thankful for. <clears throat> but uh, it, it, as he was reading his list to me and I was thinking about what, it, what he did, uh, it made me, me think of this uh, principle that I've, I've told people over the years. Uh, there's a, there's a lot of people I've met who uh, get depressed, and uh, I've told them that the best cure for depression that I know of is to count your blessings. And counting your blessings or listing your things you're thankful for is the same idea. But when we, when we do actually start counting our blessings and listing them, and we, we become really aware of how fortunate, how blessed we really are, per particularly uh, in this time of history where uh, life is so easy with, with uh, all of our technological advances and uh, such abundance, particularly in the uh, industrialized world. Uh, you know, I live in Las Vegas, Nevada, in the United States, and, and uh, it, it's the land of plenty. We don't lack for anything. And... Uh, so life is very easy, especially considering comparing it to some of uh, the third world countries today. And if we look at countries in the past, you know, we go back 100, 200, 500, 1,000 years ago, and we compare how hard life was, we should be thankful uh, for all that we have, the ease of our life, the abundance. So... Um, if you are struggling with any kind of depression, uh, I think you should do what Ken did. Uh, he wasn't depressed, but he wanted to make a list, and I think he wanted to make everybody aware that he, he was really a blessed man and really thankful for all his blessings. Um, now, there's a, another uh, person I'd like to mention. I haven't talked to him for quite a while. He, he is a wonderful saint, uh, Brother Jose. Uh, his channel, I believe, is still uh, Born Again 777. And um, I used to talk to Jose quite frequently, uh, but we, we did get into a conversation about holidays. And Brother Jose is really quite adamant against celebrating any holidays. Uh, he's not a Jehovah's Witness. He is a born again Christian, uh, but uh, he believes that uh, celebrating birthdays or Christmas or Easter and these things are uh, pagan and we shouldn't be doing them. Um, I did uh, did not agree with him on that, uh, but uh, it's interesting that you know he felt very strongly about that, and I felt very strongly that uh, we should uh, uh, allow tolerate people to uh, look at these holidays the way that they want to. Uh, I, I do believe in, in celebrating all these holidays, um, uh, Christmas, uh, Easter, Thanksgiving, the, the major holidays. Uh, but, but I personally, as a Christian, so a, a person who is relying on 
Jesus Christ for my salvation. Uh, a person who relays, relies on Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit to, uh, you know, um, run my life, to, to be part of my life, to be, uh, we be, uh, functioning in me every day. Uh, I, I don't want to celebrate Christmas one day a year. I want to celebrate Christ every day of the year. Uh, I want to celebrate his birth every day of the year. I want to celebrate his, uh, death, burial, and resurrection every day of the year, not only on Easter and Thanksgiving Day. Uh, I'm happy that in the United States that we we have as a nation designated a particular day to give thanks because I think it's something that's neglected by a lot of people that we don't stop uh, and, and, and think about all the blessings we have. So at least one day a year, the nation pauses and say, let's be thankful today. But I believe Thanksgiving Day should be celebrated every day. Every day we should be so thankful for all of our blessings. And if we do that, I think you're going to have good men mental health. You're going to have uh, joy uh, rather than depression. So I encourage you to celebrate all these holidays, but I want you to celebrate them every day, uh, not just, you know, three times a year. Um, but however you decide to do with these holidays, I'll leave you with this thought here. Uh, it's Romans 14, 5. The Apostle Paul writes, One man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. So, uh, pretty clear, Paul, Paul is talking about this very subject in that verse here. That is, uh, if you want to designate certain days of the year and esteem them as special days, it's perfectly okay to do that. If you want to not acknowledge those days in any way, as Brother Jose chooses to do, that's perfectly okay. Uh, but I believe the best way is to esteem every single day. Every single day should be Christmas, Easter, and Thanksgiving Day. Okay, so I, I hope this is uh, helpful to you. And today is Thanksgiving Day here in the United States. I don't know if you... You celebrate this kind of thing in, in, in Europe for my friends in England. But uh, today and every day, uh, I pray that you are blessed. I pray that you will count your blessings and be thankful. And please rest in the love and grace of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.